this side was one of the worst sections uh, when you saw in previous videos what had happened is this foam maybe from the manufacturer the the uh, what they used it here the foam too this whole section was basically coming off the boat you could press on it and it was going in and out going going in and out so I cut it back to good foam and I put this new section in here uh, same system as I showed you in other ones uh, let this dry overnight and I'm doing the same thing cutting it beveling the edge a little bit but I still got to fair out I still got to fair out this section here uh, this is gel coat uh, what I want to do is get rid of this gel coat to about here so I can add glass over this here but I'm gonna fair this out a little bit just fair this out make it smooth and then we'll lay two layers of 17 8 1708 over top of this so a little bit more structural than probably what it originally was so if that's the plan friends I'll show you a few other things people keep complaining people say hey you got a hole in your boat got a hole in your boat yes got a hole in my boat <clears throat> holes are actually not the problem holes are very easy to fix and when fixed properly let's show you here this is the biggest hole in the boat uh, but there are many ways you can fix a hole it's all up to you you know what you want to do is make this as structural as possible I'm gonna put it put some starboard on the inside here maybe uh, drill in and suck the starboard in here so it gives me some backing uh, I can't really access this compartment from inside so it's a little creativity here put some starboard in here Drill some holes into it, suck it in, use those backing, and then probably some chop strand here, and then start laying in some 1708 and build 1708 up. Again, since this boat, whole boat is going to be layered with two layers of 1708, I have some flexibility in how I fix these holes. And here's another hole that you see. This is the crash compartment here. No big deal. This was a repair from previous, and could keep it but it's not really doing anything so I'm going to cut this back to some good glass get rid of the repair, repair job and do the same thing put some starboard in there and start building it out I can't access this crash compartment yet and I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to cut another hole in the uh, head here so this crash compartment comes to about to about here and it's designed so if you hit something and the water comes in you're fine so about here is the wall to enter the bathroom and I think I might and once I'm on the water cut open this crash compartment and build some, be able to access a little better but that's future future videos all right so today we're gonna keep shaping and shaping this foam and then we'll probably lay some fairing in today start filling up these holes and make things look a little bit more like a boat. Talk to you later, friends. Hi, friends. Hope you can hear me over the truck. Today is glassing day, fiberglass day. So let me show you kind of the way I do it. I know some people are going to say, don't do it that way, don't do it away. My boat, I do what I want. Let me show you. Here's what we got. We got some 1708 biaxial glass. Uh, I'm going to use that to fill in some of the holes I'll show you. Basically what I did is I'll start with just around the hole of the of the hole and then I'll build it up. So this will be the next piece and this will be the next piece. And may and I keep in mind the boat will have two layers of 17-8 over, over top of it. So realistically this is fine for the hole. Now let me show you the hole. Hi friends, here's one of the many, many holes in this boat. What I have done is to kind of shade this in at a 45 uh, slope. I cannot get to the inside. The correct way would be to glass from the inside. Uh, there is a wash machine and there is a whole things of, I cannot get to the inside. So, <clears throat> ideally again, glass from the inside first. And if you gotta cut out holes in your boat to get inside, do it. But for me, what I'm gonna do is these three layers of 1708, I'm gonna overlap them like this. And then keep in mind this boat is getting, 
two layers of 1708 over top of this so this should be this will be plenty uh, for this hole the goal is not to have the glass when you put it in get it wet to not have it concave in there and create a dimple we want to just kind of get it nice and flat we're going to get a nice uh, grab on the edge and all the way up to the here all right we'll, we'll see how we go day, and isn't it